welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, I have five kids, a 13 year old teenage boy named Evan, an 11 year old boy named Brady, a 10 year old boy named Ezra, a five year old girl named Jenna, and a two and a half year old son named Cruz. So I have both genders, a wide range of kids, and I'm here to show you what's in my kids' Easter baskets or any other good ideas that I think that might help inspire or help other mamas out there, especially for older boys, because there's not that much inspiration out there and stores don't really cater to that age. But those boys do want something for Easter. They just often don't know what it is that they want. So that's one of the main reasons I make these videos for you guys, and I hope that you get some ideas for what to put in your kids' Easter basket that's not just junk or candy. So we do Easter big. We don't buy our kids anything unless it's Christmas, their birthday, or Easter. So just fair warning. We're going to dive in first to my oldest son's Easter basket, and I'm going to put some chapters in the description box if you want to click to go to a specific kid or age that will be there, as well as linking everything that I possibly can in the description box. And if I miss anything, please send me a message. The first thing that I got, Evan, is this Waboba Wingman UFO LED silicone disc. So it's like a small Frisbee, but it's really easy to throw. It's really lightweight, and it also lights up has a little button that you press in the middle once you remove the little tab in the back. These have really good reviews online and there are different pictures that are on front. There's some that look like a moon and there's an owl, but this one is a UFO. We have a golf course in our backyard, so a large area that our boys can run around on when the golf course isn't open. And so this would be perfect to play with at night. The next thing I got for Evan is a package of new no-show socks because his feet are getting bigger and they need more socks all the time. So that's always good to put in an Easter basket. The next thing I got for Evan are these Control Freaks Battle Royale thumbsticks. So what they do is they connect to the controller. They make them look cool, but they also raise them up. And some people feel like they increase their accuracy and their range of motion or something. I think they look pretty cool. So hopefully he likes them to kind of dress up his Xbox controller. And then we also got him this package of Mentos. The boys like to put the little Mentos rolls inside their zipper pouches in their binder to eat throughout the day at school. So I'm sure he'll share some of those with his brothers. Then we also got him a pair of these crazy socks. He loves hot Cheetos and he plays football. And so sometimes they wear kind of funny socks on the football field. I think he might like those. And then we also got him this by Specs. It is a magnetic Pentagon set. It's kind of like almost like a fidget toy. They're really strong magnets, but they're not too strong to where it's hard for, for you to like reverse them and create different shapes. And it's kind of like a fidget toy. The next thing we got for him is this new headset. These things are forever breaking. His last one lasted a while, but this is the Lucid Sound headset for Xbox so we can talk to his friends online. We also got Evan this football shaped case for his AirPods, which is a really good way to make sure that your kids' AirPods don't get stolen. It's making sure that Theirs look different. So we put stickers on the AirPods and then we also have specific cases. Ezra has a cat one that he likes and Brady's is ramen noodles. So Evan really wanted his own and he got a football. And then we also got Evan this super cute cat bunny ear dress up thing for his ragdoll cat. He got a ragdoll kitten for his birthday. Her name is Everly and she has great ears. So this will be so cute to see him dress her up for Easter. The next thing we got Evan is this package of Gatorade energy chews. My boys really enjoy these and it's not something that we normally get, but they do get it in like their stocking, their Easter basket. And this is something that they really look forward to. The next thing we got Evan is this mischief maker wooden slingshot. His is like kind of like an ocean or surfboard theme. Um, my boys, none of them have ever had a slingshot, which is kind of weird because it's a classic toy, but I thought that this would be fun and the balls are like soft foam. The next thing we got him is a set of white Crocs. I have been putting off buying my kids Crocs for I don't know how long. They've just been wearing their slides, but it's time. All the boys are wearing white Crocs. My boys have requested them and they're growing out of their slides. So it was time for us to join the Croc game, even though I was hoping that trend would die. He got white ones. And then we also got him 
some croc charm we live in texas and he's a sports fan so we got him this set of texas charms it has a bunch of the houston teams like the astros and then we also got him the little american flag charm to put on his crocs just as a way that he can put one or two on there to make sure that he knows which pair is his since all of his friends have them too it seems like boys usually wear the white ones gray or yellow like yellow is a really common color for the boys um, and some of them have navy blue, but usually it's it's white that they're wearing if you're trying to buy your boys some Crocs. Mamas, if you need help, I did the research for you. If you guys didn't know, I am a teacher. I teach literally thousands of students online across the country. I used to be a regular fourth grade teacher, but now I teach everything from high schoolers to younger kids and I kind of ask them to get some ideas like what's cool and sometimes I literally just talk to people in the mall if I'm not sure I talk to other teenagers that are around me and ask them these things so that I make sure that I'm getting the right thing the next thing that I got for him is this set from Abercrombie it is a really lightweight it's like a dry fit material which is their favorite tie-dye lightweight hoodie and matching shorts that match and then we also got him this pair of Stance American Flag socks. These are not quite as high as the others. If you haven't tried Stance socks before, they're super high quality and you can get them at Tilly's or Buckle. Evan plays the drums in a band for teenagers as well as at school. And we got him a new pair of glowing drumsticks to play with in the dark. They're really cool at night. We got him this little round container of nerds. These are super cool. This is the first year I've seen these. I know my kids will like them. Um, you can get these at Walmart or Walgreens. I saw them at both places. The next thing that we got Evan is this super cool version of Jenga with acrylic blocks that actually light up. It has a light up base and it has different colors that go through the acrylic blocks. And it looks so awesome. I know he's gonna have so much fun playing with his friends and our family, especially at night, out on the patio or just in the dark. This will be so much fun. I can't wait to play that with him. The next thing I got for Evan is this dude perfect tricks and tips, different sports things that you can do guide. Evan's really into sports and I know that he'll like that. And then we got him this drop shot game and it looks almost like a honeycomb and the way you play is you stand above it. It's a two player game and it sounds really easy but you drop the little torpedoes into the holes and apparently it's not as easy as it sounds. The reviews on Amazon are pretty good for this game. We also got him a bag of these jelly fruits. He's had them one time before and he really enjoyed them. I'm sorry if you hear our pair in the background. He's begging for attention right now. We also got Evan this skin for his Series X. He requested it a while back and put it on his wish list, and so I know he's going to really, really love it. It is made of high quality vinyl and it sticks on there, and there's also one for his controller too to make it match, and his is like a galaxy. And then we also got him this Strong in Spirit devotional, but I think all three of the boys could do it. And instead of writing in the book their answers, they could just use notebook paper and we can do it together. I really like them because they're short and it just makes sure that we're continuing a conversation at home about our faith. The next thing we got for Evan is this big kahuna water skipping ball. It's also by the Waboba brand, which is the brand that made the flying disc that I showed you before. But you can throw this across the pool and it skips like a rock which the boys love skipping rocks when we went on a road trip recently. So I think they'll really like this. I found the cutest personalized eggs this year. This is from a shop called HC Designs and I'll link her shop in the description box. But I have one for each of the kids and I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in their Easter basket or if I'm going to hide it in the egg hunt and have them each have a personalized egg that only that kid can get just to kind of make the Easter magic last longer that day, but we'll see. In Evans, I stuffed it with a $25 Pizza Hut gift card. We've done this once before and Evans still talks about it. So with this, he can order pizza any day he wants, even if we're cooking dinner and he doesn't like it or something. We're giving him free reign for one ordering pizza with his gift card. And then I stuffed it with his fancy schmancy boxers that he really likes. So the big thing, at least with him, has been boxer or boxer briefs from Ethica. 
So if you haven't seen these before, they are like weirdly colored, different pair of boxers. I'll show you all the ones that we got for him. And so they're a, typically a little bit longer than what we've seen in the past from um, boxers that he's liked, but he really likes them. They like the bright colors and things. And um, I like this one a lot. And then we also got him some football themed Under Armour ones. This is a brand that we've had tons of times and they hold up pretty well. The elastic doesn't give out as they go, but I know he's really gonna be excited about the Ethica ones. Him and Brady both really like them. I also got Evan a personalized custom hat from Etsy. I'll put in a picture of what it looks like. All the boys have been wearing hats like crazy lately and so I got them for each of the older boys and that will be added to their Easter basket as well once those come in. We also got Evan this three dimensional football charm for his Crocs and a Reese's Easter bunny. He also really loves these um, sweet tart ropes and these are the rainbow ones which are kind of hard to find i know he'll like those and then they love juicy drop anything or like baby bottle pop so i got them this gummy roll and these juicy drops where it has the juicy drop pin and little gummies that you can fill the hole in and then we got him a travel pack of the listerine cool mint pocket packs. He really likes these for some reason. And something really cool about these is if your kid ever has a sore throat, for some reason these eliminate the feeling of a sore throat for a while. So these are kind of nice to have on hand. String adjustable bracelets are what is popular for boys right now, at least boys his age, particularly the ones that are adjustable. So we got him these two little string bracelets. He has his cross one that he got from his stocking from Christmas and then I also found this one that I hadn't seen before is from Rastaclat. I'm not sure how popular this brand is but it's another adjustable one and I thought it looked nice with it being white. It looks a little cleaner than the others and that's everything for what's inside Evan's basket for this year. Next up is Brady's basket and he's our 11 year old boy. The first thing we got him is this Pokemon Arceus game. It's the newest Pokemon game that came out. The boys have seen a lot of YouTube videos about this and they've been looking forward to playing it. Brady isn't even particularly into Pokemon, but this has been a pretty popular game and it's been well reviewed. So I think they're really gonna like that. And then we got him a pair of the thumbstick extenders. His look like this. If you look really closely, you can see a teal octopus on there. We also got him a glow-in-the-dark tic-tac-toe set. This would be cool to play out on the patio, out by the pool. We have several tables out there and this would be really cool to leave out there so it can charge up in the sun and then play at night. The next thing I got for Brady are these Specs Supers. They're very large magnetic balls. It's kind of like a fidget toy. This is something that he specifically requested which is weird because he doesn't really ask for much these are ferrite balls i've never heard of that before but it must be a strong magnet that says they're oddly satisfying and you can look at the reviews on amazon but he's seen a friend of his have two of these that he brings to school and he really wanted them so that's what i got for him for his easter basket and i got him this package of mentos and then i also got him his personalized egg I haven't filled it yet. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna put in here for him. It might be kind of similar to what I'm gonna put in for Evan. And then I also got Brady a Mischief Mayhem wooden surfboard slingshot with green balls. And then I got Brady this set of Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty and his is the Falling Water one. Brady loves all things Japan. So when I saw this little cat, he actually has a golden cat that waves his hand. We got it for him for Christmas and he loves it in his room. But this one is actually a flowering fortune. And so you open the cat and it has seeds inside, a lucky charm and a fortune. And then you plant the flower seeds to make your fortune come true. So that's, that's pretty interesting. And if you're new to our channel and you don't know Brady, he loves ramen. We got him two pairs of odd socks with ramen noodles. 
And then we got him a blue package of the Gatorade shoes that they really like. And Brady is super into his shoes. He likes his Jordan 1s, Air Forces, but really his Jordan 1s. And I found a pair of Ethica shoes that have Jordan 1 retros on them, which is the kind of shoes that Brady has. And so I thought he might like those. And I even found a pair of parrot ones which Brady has a parrot that he's obsessed with. So these will be perfect for Brady. I'll probably put these and maybe his socks inside of his customized egg like I did for Evan. The next thing I got for Brady, super excited about, we got him this ramen noodles bowl. It's made out of glass and it comes with a lid. Right now it's saran wrap just so it doesn't break while I'm storing it in the Easter basket. But what's really cool is if you make ramen noodles in the microwave, then when you're done, or if you just add hot water, then you can put the lid on for a minute or two and it'll make the ramen noodles nice and soft. And it also comes with reusable chopsticks. So I know he's really gonna like this. I can't wait to give it to him. The next thing we got for Brady is this cat ear dress up thing for our other kitten Jax for him to dress up too so he and Everly can both look like Easter bunnies and then as you know Brady loves parrots so we got him these little bird socks he has a sun conure and it has sun conures on there these are super cute I know he'll like them we also got him this poppet I really like the colors on this and then I got him this little string adjustable bracelet kind of like the one that I got Evan and then I also got him a set of all different color bracelets like the ones that I showed you before and there are enough in here for him to give to his friends or for him to share with his brothers as well the next thing we got for Brady is this pack of Nike no-show socks and I also got him his own pair of Crocs these are the ones I went with. The next thing we got for him is this electronic game. It's called Gib Gab, which has really good reviews. It says, can you give faster than they can gab? Pick a category from one of the cars and press the start button. The lights on the game board light up half yours, half theirs. Quick, say a word that matches the category and press your button. When you do, your lights begin to move towards your opponent. They've got to think fast, say a word, and press their button to get their lights moving back toward you. Whoever's lights reach the other end of the game board first wins the game. So it's kind of like categories or outburst but you're competing against the other team and there's like a visual timer there i also got brady this book called guy stuff the body book for boys it talks all about different boy stuff that i thought would be good and then i got him a package of jelly fruit and these new laffy taffy laugh bites and then i also got him this amazing neon sign for his room it says ramen it plugs in and in the pictures for other people that bought it it looks so cool so i can't wait to see that in his room above his bed or something i got him a reese's easter bunny and some nerd juicy drop and a juicy roll like what we got evan and then i also got him this lego puzzle with tons of different many figure faces on there. I bet this is gonna be super hard. I was second guessing this after we bought it. The other thing Brady requested was a watch. And so the next thing we got him is this Lacoste watch for boys. It has a black band and a blue and a green hand. I think it'll be cute. He specifically wanted one that was analog. We also got Brady his custom hat, which is on its way. And then our kids bring water bottles to school every day and they have water in them. But on special occasions, we like to give them the Gatorade pods, which are really expensive. This is a much better way of getting Gatorade, I think. So we got him this huge thing of Gatorade powder. And then funny story, I was at the checkout at a clothing store and there was a tray of Croc charms in front of me and I was looking at them and I found this one little ramen noodle thing i was like oh wow that looks perfect for brady and i bought it right away it says sin nudes on it and my brain was like oh that's perfect for him sin noodles and then when i got home and i held it i realized that it says sin nudes so this this needs to go in the trash i literally 
I, I can't believe my innocence in that moment. We also got Brady a Squishmallow or Squishmallow. I don't know how to say that, but he loves those. He has a few of them, like a parrot and a hedgehog that he bought with his own money. This one is a blue, blue jay, I think. I'll put a picture of it in for you guys, but it got delayed and I don't want to push back the video. You get the idea. Next up is the basket for our 10 year old son, Ezra. The first thing we got him is this giant squishy cat holding an ice cream. It smells good too. He loves squishies, like legitimately plays with them every day. So that was the only thing that he mentioned ahead of time that he really hoped to see in his Easter basket was another giant squishy to add to his collection. We also got him this new game from the Nintendo Switch. This is the WarriorWare Get It Together. It's a brand new game. We played the earlier version of a Wario game and it's a lot of fun. If your family has played Mario Party games, it's like that. It has over 200 different micro games and it's multiplayer where they can play against each other up to four players and so that should be a lot of fun on the switch. We also got Ezra his own wooden mischief maker slingshot. His has fire on it and it has orange balls. And then I also got him this little squishy fidget thing where the mouth pops out like that. And then we got him his crazy errands thinking putty and his has emojis that are hidden inside of it. I saw this pop it and I really liked the colors on it. And then Ezra's obsessed with cats. So when I saw these little Ethica underwear with tons of little cats on them, I couldn't help but get these for Ezra. We also got him his own pair of thumb grips. These are the ones that I think that he'll really like. They're little cats. He plays Xbox and Nintendo Switch. So we got him those. I figured he'd use these. I'm not sure where that cat is from, but um, maybe Sailor Moon or something. I'm not sure. But we also got him these with more little cats and they look like they're holding Nintendo controllers. We also got him this moving out game on the Nintendo Switch, which I heard was a lot of fun for families and it's kind of addicting. It's kind of like uncooked. So I think we'll like that. And then I got him this pair of galaxy cat socks and i got him this minecraft slime it has a collectible figure in the slime this minifigure puzzle with all the different minifigures i also got him this book it's a minecraft book the kids get sucked into the game and this is actually a series this is number one in the series it's also a graphic well, it's not really a graphic novel, but it does have pictures in it, kind of like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And then something else Ezra requested was cat toys. So we got him this Smarty Cat cat tunnel so you can watch the cats run through there. And I think it has like a little hangy down toy in there too. And Ezra has dyslexia. So if you have any kids with dyslexia or if you have a kid that does spelling words, this poppet is really good for that. It looks like a keyboard. It has all the different letters on there. And so kids with dyslexia in particular, they need multi-sensory work whenever they're learning to help them remember better because their memory doesn't typically work as good either. And so they can spell the words as they're popping it down. This is one of the coolest poppets I've ever seen. So I think he'll like that. We also got Ezra a game too for our family game nights. His is called Insanity and this is fun because you flip, you race each other to flip the sand before the sand runs out and if the sand runs out then another player hits the timer so that sounds like fun and he likes hands-on kind of games like that. We also got Ezra a Squishmallow, Squishmallow however you say it. His is a little astronaut cat. He really likes squishy stuff. I know he'll like it. This is his very first Squishmallow. He's not had one. I also got Ezra this little capsule of worms, like fidget worms. These are called stretchums. They're also known as monkey noodles. He told me that some of the kids at school play with monkey noodles at school, and this would be great to take with him in his backpack because it actually has a container that snaps together so he has a place to keep them. We got Ezra his own pair of Crocs. I got him the white ones as well. I also got him some Gatorade Energy Chews and a pack of Nike no-show socks. And then Ezra the cat lover. Um, we have two older cats, Nikki and Ella, and they're both white. So, since he's the one that requested cat toys, I put two pairs of white cat costume bunny ears in there. Maybe we can take a picture of all of our cats for Easter with all their bunny ears. He 
he would be the one leading the show for that one. Also put in a marshmallow egg for him and a Reese's Easter Bunny a pack of the little nerds. He got a Roblox gift card with Robux on it and a package of Pokemon cards because those are in for him and his friends. His adjustable rope string bracelet and then I got him a skip it because he's never had one this one lights up and I had a lot of fun with these when I was little and then we also got him some juicy drop candy and that's everything for what's inside Ezra's Easter basket next I'll show you what's in our five-year-old girl Jenna's basket before we get started, I found some of the cutest baskets for little girls this year, and I think you guys would want to see them. First of all, there are these baskets, which I honestly got this one to use as a storage basket in her room for Barbie accessories, but how cute. I'll link it below. And there's also this super cute one that Michaels has. They also have a yellow one and a mint one with different color flowers. There are felt flowers on there. How adorable. I like to use smaller baskets like this to use when they're actually hunting for eggs. I think these will probably go fast because they are both super cute. The first thing I got for Jenna's Easter basket is this ice cream squishy. It has rainbow colored ice cream. Ezra has one of these with like a brown colored cone that he got for Christmas that he loves and the kids play kitchen with and stuff. This doesn't smell, but it is super soft and I think she'll like it. And then for her big gift for her Easter basket is this Ryan wheel. I'm gonna take it out of the package to make sure it fits better in her basket. You can spin and it lands on something. You can open it. It has a game where you can refill it. I know she'll put other figures in there. I think she's really going to like this. She keeps asking for a Ryan egg and I refuse to spend that much money on the Ryan egg, but I figured that this was worth the money. It's not very expensive and I feel like it's a very high quality toy with lots of replay value as well. Jenna also has been asking for crybabies. She's never had a crybaby before. I feel like it's such a good alternative to LOL dolls, which we're done with because of the low quality and how much they fall apart and how frustrating they are. But crybabies are actually really cute. I didn't realize there was a show. So this one is the Storyville set and it actually has a little house that opens up and the tower has like a jail that's there and you can unlock it with a, with a key. And so it comes with a little pet too. And then once you give the baby water, then she cries real tears, which I don't know why you'd want your baby to cry real tears, but she's going to be excited. And I did get her a few others as well that I thought maybe we could put in the prizes for her dojo points. I got her her very first set of Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty and hers is Enchanting Unicorn. It has little sparkles in it and it's supposed to glow in the dark pink. I also got Jenna an Intax mini camera for her to take little pictures of her friends and cheer and art and dance. Um, and gymnastics. She's made so many little friends this year and she has a board in her room where she puts notes from her coaches and her friends, like her valentines, and she can put her little pictures in there as well. I also got Jenna this fish from Little Live Pets. It's called Little Dippers. You put the little bag in the bath water or wherever they're playing, like the hot tub or something, and the fish swims out. And I think that her and Cruz will have so much fun playing in the bath or the pool or the hot tub with these. I know when the boys were little, they loved little robo fish. So I can't wait to see them with those. And then I got Jenna this chocolate bunny. It was really cheap at Target. I just like the rainbow packaging. She needed a new pair of headphones and a microphone. So I got her these that I know she's gonna love with the little pom-poms. And um, it also does have a microphone built in and little crystals on the side. I also found the cutest pillow. Those poor kittens really let our kids do whatever to them. They're just along for the ride and super sweet. Um, so I can't wait to see the little cat in the unicorn costume. And then I also got her a regular Storyland um, crybabies. This one comes with clothes that you can dress them up with. And then Jenna really likes puzzles and I got her this one. This one has a thousand pieces, which is really ambitious for a five-year-old. She can do 200 by herself, but not a thousand. This one is almost kind of like 
eight puzzles in one though since it has each one of the princesses so i think it'd be a good one for us to do together i also got jenna the cutest bubble wand i've ever seen it's like a butterfly it lights up and it has sounds and then this is jenna's customized egg from hd designs hers is so pretty it's hard to see on camera just how beautiful it is but it's like iridescent pink and it has a bow at the bottom and i also got her the customized crayon box it's on the inside it says her name in purple with a little heart for me to put crayons in her backpack for kindergarten coming up soon in jenna's egg i bought her some butterfly hair clips these are so cute i remember when i was little probably like in fourth grade butterfly hair clips were like the thing to have and she loves butterflies so i think that she'll really like these she loves putting things in her hair and she also has a little barbie mannequin that she can dress up with these too i think these will be so pretty packed inside her personalized egg also got jenna some of this hello unicorn sparkle fluoride toothpaste and bubble gum we have like a toothpaste dispenser in their bathroom so they have the same toothpaste all the time but this is so pretty i love the packaging it was perfect for easter so i thought it'd be a nice special treat for her and then gina has been into collecting rocks so i got her her very first dig set with mystery gems and it's so pretty with the crystal colors and stuff and it should have real gemstones inside so she can add those to her rock collection and then she's had one of these before like over a year ago and she still talks about it it is the newborn unicorn squad it's the five surprise and this comes with um unicorn poop inside of it i think i think the other one did i'm not really sure if it still comes with the same but it has magic color changing diapers and then jenna's favorite candy is nerd so of course she got the nerd and they have a mario kart rainbow road hot wheels racetrack jenna and cruz got it for christmas and it's one of their favorite gifts they play with it every day and the older boys play with it too it's really cool if you haven't seen it before and they don't have princess daisy the racetrack's really cool it shows them in like a digital way who the winner is and it plays the mario kart sounds and stuff and it looks like the rainbow track it's really nice and then i also got her this um crybaby set it looks like a little flower it has little flowers on there and then when the baby cries it makes the flowers change colors and it has like fake cotton candy in there and then i also got her 101 devotions for his princess these are really short devotions for her age group that we can talk through and do out loud together at night that i thought was really precious she's not had her own devotional just yet we usually did it with the boys after she went to bed and then i also got her a regular bubble wand to play with outside because what's an easter basket without bubbles and then we also got this from the target dollar spot it has different math to do and she's been super into adding and subtracting lately so i know she'll have a lot of fun with those i got her this set of real littles micro mart she has a ton of these that she got not this christmas but the christmas prior she still plays with it and she loves them so much i thought about opening up eggs and putting one of these in each one of the eggs and each of these containers open up and the little shop can goes in there and then i also got her this scratch art book which is good for travel she loves little scratch art stuff this one has a bunch of shape and then we also got a sticker by letter she has sticker by number now if you haven't seen these they have stickers inside and when they put it together they see the different animal in like a mosaic way and then these are new from mini brands they're the disney store so disney brand little toys in there that can go for her micro mart and then another one of the regular toy mini brands and then i also got the gold one as well with like super rare rose gold opportunities in there and then i also got her her first colored lip gloss that she can play with she loves makeup so much and i felt like this color wasn't too too crazy that way if she put it on by herself and got it on the carpet or something it wouldn't be too bad we got her a new charm for her charm it bracelet if you didn't see this in my christmas video charm it is so cute for little girls it's the best charm bracelet she loves her she has one from cheer valentine's day and all kinds of things so this is her little bunny for easter and i'll probably put that in the personalized egg too since it's so small 
And then she also got her Juicy Drop candy like the boys did. And something else that would be perfect for Easter is this Crybaby set. This one's a little bit bigger than the other, so if you're looking for one big toy to take up an Easter basket, this might be it. It's flower shaped and it's actually like a little magic tears potion creating set where the baby cries into the top of the flower and it makes little like rose scented potions for the magic babies. I thought Jenna would really like and this little baby rides on the bike and can pull the flower. And then something that I saw that would be great for Jenna's age and a little bit older, this from Craftastic, it's a collage kit. Jenna has one just like this on the back of her door and she loved it and these are like hexagon shaped and I feel like they have a lot more like shiny gold and then they're so pretty and I know she'll like it so we'll probably add these to the back of her door too on the bottom half because it really added such a cool touch to her room and she loves it. And then her game that we got is pencil nose. So you hold up the board and it's see-through where players on both sides can see and you have to draw with your nose and then other people have to guess what it is. It seems like so much fun and really silly. And then something that Jenna got for Christmas that I thought would be adorable for Easter basket are these flippable pillows that come in the kids initials. These are from at home and they're still in stores and they're actually discounted for just a few dollars. So go to athome.com and see if in your area they have these available because these would be darling for an Easter basket. And that's all for Jenna's Easter basket. Next is Cruz's Easter basket. He's our two and a half year old boy. The first thing we got him is this set of quick sticks. If you haven't seen these before, these are temper paint sticks. They don't need any water. They're they're easy to clean up, they're mess free, as mess free as anything could be like this for kids that age. The first time I ever saw these, they were in our Love Every package and they came with just a few colors and I think it's time for some more now. We've had those for over a year now. So I got them this big set and I also wanted a place to store them where when we would see it, we knew exactly what was in there. So I got him this zip it case. So I opened up the package of paint sticks and surprisingly every single one fit in here. Um, so this is really good storage for them to keep it in the desk like this or if we go somewhere, we can take this and a little sketch pad with us. And then I got Cruz a robo fish that he can play with in the bathtub or the hot tub or the pool. And it supposedly changes color and water as well. They love color changing stuff. I also got Cruz a new pair of native shoes that are his third time getting native shoes. He just keeps growing out of them and they're the best. They don't give him blisters or anything. And I found these on the secret like clearance section of native. If you don't know how to get there, I'll explain in the description box, but I pretty much got two for the price of one or like less than the price of one pair, which is nice. So I did get him a pair of the Vans looking ones, blue ones with red and navy blue, and then these white ones as well. And then the next thing I got him is this pack of Mario Kart cars to go with his racetrack that he has. He doesn't have these characters yet, like the big Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. And then I also found this in the Target dollar spot, which looks like a truck, and I thought it would be perfect since these are the only kind of cars he keeps in his room. They're different than the regular Hot Wheels we have. We can open up these and put them in here. And then I also found an individual little baby Mario car that Cruz will love as well. So this will be his car storage in his room. It doesn't have to hang on the wall either. It just, it sits up and we can put all the little cars in there and the cars fit perfectly. The next thing I got for Cruz is this hand puppet. We have one like this from the same brand. It's Schilling, Schilling, I think that's how you say it. We have a unicorn one that we got for Jenna's Easter basket a while back. They play with it all the time and now he has a dragon. They feel so cool and I think it looks so high quality. I hope it doesn't scare him. And then one of Cruz's favorite toys are stacking robots that we got when Evan was two. I can't find them anymore. There are like stacking sets of acrobats on Amazon, but I don't feel like they're as, as high of quality. So I found these. They're from Lee Toy Van and they are the forest stacking set. So inside here, these are little animals, which I hope Cruz still likes. He usually likes things that look exactly the same and playing with different sets 
of things that are like blue and green, but they all look the same. But these are little animals that you can practice balancing and stacking up, just like his stacking robots that he has. They're all different ones, like a fox, this little hedgehog. They can stack all different ways, and it's really good for their dexterity and fine motor skills practicing stacking this stuff not to mention dealing with frustration because it does get really frustrating but there's like 12 different animals in there that they all stack up little woodland animals we got him his own poppet in this ombre color and then we got him his second papa dot book we have another one like this that we love they make the coolest little sound when you pop all these dots and with this this is really cool because when they're actually counting the animals that sound automatically helps them reinforce their one-to-one -one correspondence with counting and not just memorizing the order of numbers but actually touching one and saying one at the same time when they hear that satisfying pop and then of course his personalized egg for me to stuff and his crayon box in there for his crayon and then i got him a new little kickball that's just his size cruz loves balls so much so we like to have lots of soft ones in the house he always claps his hands and go mom catch and then he throws the ball at me so the softer the better and this is a really good one this is from learning express and then cruz has one one of the water wow books that he got for his stocking and he loves it it's the vehicle one so I got him a three pack on Amazon he loves doing them whenever we go somewhere they're perfect and sometimes he just sits at home and does them on the counter so um, I got him the set of like space occupation and then sports I got Cruz his own bubble blower his is a little llama it looks super cute and this has really good reviews which if you've looked for reviews on bubble blowers they're usually not good but this one is apparently a good one and then I also got him this magnetic dot art set it comes with these dots that are magnetic enclosed in plastic so they can't spill and a little magnetic pin there's different puzzles that they can do or like patterns that they can go do to make different things or he can just play and do that he usually loves playing with magnets and this is a safe way for him to play with magnets on the go without making a mess i got him his little chocolate easter bunny we got him this book that i saw don't look inside it has different things that he can touch and read and lift the flap and it asks questions to give him clues of who's hiding in there so i thought that was cool and then i got him a little sticky shark i really really talked myself out of giving him a goo jitsu spider-man he loves spidey but those things have horrible reviews and i know that they're super cool looks so fun to stretch them but People say that they get gross really fast and they break really fast and they're anywhere from $13 each to like $22. So I just didn't feel like it was worth it. And then I got him this Spidey pop-ups. It's one of the little sucker containers that you can refill. And then I got him a nerds container as well and a regular bubble wand. Something we're really excited about for Cruz is this cute set that Lance actually picked out. It comes with a honey pot. It's all wooden. I love the sounds that they make, but it comes with a honey pot and also a honeycomb with little bees inside. So there are different pieces of wood that you put together like a honeycomb. It comes with a set of wooden tweezers, so it's great for fine motor skills. And they work to use the tweezers to pick up each of the little bees and they drop it in the honey pot and then put them all back. That's one of Cruz's absolute favorite things to play with is sets of things that are the same. Really nice high quality toy. Even the little bees are made with high quality for little felt bees. So this is so cute and I can't wait to see him play with it. Something that I got Cruz for Christmas that he plays with every day is this little cube. I'll link it in the description box below. It comes with little shapes. He really likes putting things in places and then carrying them. This thing has been great to put in like little magnet tiles and us take it with us if we go out to eat. It keeps his stuff nice and stored. It's easy for him to carry when he's trying to carry 42 different little bitty things that he's playing with. So this is a really great toy for kids Cruz's age, a little bit younger and a little bit older as well. And that's everything for Cruz's Easter basket. This year I put together little DIY name tags for each of the kids. Evan and Ezra both have the same initial. So Evan has Ev on there, Ezra has Ez, but they each have one and I made a reel to show you guys how I put those together if you're interested. 
I hope you all got some great ideas for your kids' Easter baskets. If you saw something you really liked, please leave a comment below. I am so nosy and I love to hear what you guys are gonna get for your kids too. And if you have another good idea that I didn't think of, leave it in the comments below so that I can use that for next year. I hope you all have a great Easter. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah.